Hello friends, we have understood what exactly the integrated pest management means. So before going to the application part of integrated pest management, it is very much essential to know the various concepts of integrated pest management that was given by Metcalf. The first and more most uh, important concept is to understand the agricultural ecosystem. Ecosystem means it contains various entities like forest, agriculture, ponds, etc. Whereas agriculture ecosystem, it is less diversified than forest ecosystem. Then it is susceptible to various unusual catastrophic events of pest incidents. This agricultural ecosystem, it is continuously manipulated by human beings because of various agronomic practices that are being followed for raising the crops. So hence, this agro ecosystem, it is highly susceptible to the attack of various pests and diseases. The next time the foremost uh, the important concept is to planning the agro ecosystem. Before implementing the integrated pest management system in crop production, we have to understand or we have to plan the agro ecosystem. Planning lies in the selection of varieties or hybrids. So to give one example, if you select some susceptible varieties which are actually harboring higher intensity of pest in certain localities, one should not select such varieties because it intensifies the activity of pest control methods. And here is another example in cotton wherein sucking pest like leaf hopper, it is one of the important pest in cotton. So it attacks heavily on the glabrous type of varieties then you have to select the pupacent type, they are very thereby the attack of this cotton sucking pest is less. And another uh, one example that is crop rotation. So before the planning, you one should know what type of crop should be grown. So here is one uh, best example that is uh, the management of corn rootworm, it is one of the important uh, pest in uh, maize production. If you grow continuously this corn in a location, we are going to get higher or more number of pests at the same time the incidence of this corn pest borer, I mean corn stem borer will be high. Hence we have to rotate this corn with soybean, thereby you are going to reduce the pest population in the next season. The another important wherein the management of pesticides mainly it is involved wherein we look for more than cost benefit, benefit risk is highly dangerous hence it is going to cause much damage to the environment and uh, the human beings. Farmers always they more concerned about the cost benefit. The cost benefit decisions they are actually lies with the crop produce, then method of crop production and where exactly the production unit is located. So in this way, the cost benefit should be always more than one. And next comes the benefit risk. So here most of the farmers, they do not know what should be sprayed and what should not be sprayed. So of course, the particular insecticide or pesticides may be very effective against a group of or target insect pest. But at the same time, if it is going to cause much damage to the environment and uh, human beings, so such chemicals should not be selected. And uh, the always one should consider the socio-economics of the pest management strategy while selecting the insecticides.
Next is tolerance of pest damage. Already Dr. Prabhuraj, he has dealt in detail about various the parameters which are involved in decision making of pest management. In that economic threshold level, economic injury level, they are very much important. Always one should uh, manage the pest below the economic injury level, thereby you are going to get higher amount of benefit out of that particular strategy. So, here I would like to give some examples how exactly one can tolerate the minimum pest damage or sometimes as well you can tolerate higher pest damage also. To give here one example, leaf folder it is one of the important pest in paddy ecosystem. When this leaf folder causes even 30 percent damage during later part of the season, it will not reduce the yield in a paddy ecosystem. Another example is groundnut. So, leaf folder or defoliators, they are the important pests of groundnut. After 70 to 80 days, even if you record more than 50 percent of leaf damage, one will not, I mean uh, there will not be any much reduction in the yield. And another example in case of sunflower, the top six leaves they are very important in the production. So, even there is lot of defoliation of lower leaves, there will not be any much reduction in the yield. So, everybody should know the what the economic threshold level of different pest and uh, what exactly the pest damage is going to interfere in the yield. Thereby, we are going to increase the pest that is and its natural enemies for multiplication and also one can protect the environment from being polluted with pesticides. So, the continuation of uh, the earlier concept. So, at least we should uh, leave some part of pest residue, so that one can increase the multiplication of its natural enemies like parasitoids and predates, thereby they are going to reduce the pest population below economic threshold. So, that is why always the concept of pest management is to suppress the pest but not eradication of the pests. Then another uh, important concept that is timing of the treatments. So, most of its times this timing of the treatments refers to the pesticides because most of our farmers they depend on pesticide use and uh, the it is very much required because unnecessary application of these pesticides they are going to cause much hazardous on the environment. So, we have to identify the crucial period of pest occurrence and its ultimate effect on the yield. Thereby, timing of insecticide it is more important thereby you can save lot of pesticides application on the environment. So, single timely application it is going to save lot of further application of pesticides. So, that is why only single spray if it is properly timed can prevent most of the damage due to insects and also one can avoid the excessive spraying also. So, for monitoring as well one can use various uh, the devices which are available like pheromone traps for the for recording the activity of adult thereby one can time the application of these pesticides. So, you have the technology, but if it is not acceptable or if it is not understandable by the end users. So, there is no use of implementation I mean there is no use of implementation of these IPM programs. That is why education is much needed 
regarding the concept and understanding of the concepts and implementation of IPM programs. Since India is one country wherein we have a lot of the uneducated farmers, they do not know what is best and what when it has to be taken prevent measures. That is why the concept of the pest management has to be ascertained to the end users through involvement of many stakeholders or NGOs. So, it is very much essential to the to understand the concepts of integrated pest management before putting this integrated pest management into the production system. Thank you.